guys, it's Sahit here back from Pentec and today we will be comparing the iPod Touch with the Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 rocks a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor with an Adreno 330 GPU. It has 2 gigs of RAM and it comes in 2 specifications with 16 or 32 gigabytes. The iPod Touch 5th generation has Apple's A5 custom dual core ARM Cortex A9 processor with 512 gigabytes of RAM and it only comes in a 32 gigabyte configuration. So putting the iPod Touch on top of the Nexus 5, we can see that the Nexus 5 is relatively larger and this is due to the 5 inch screen on the Nexus 5 while the iPod Touch only has a 4 inch screen. Coming to the side, we can see that the iPod Touch is a lot uh, thinner than the Nexus 5 and this is because the Nexus 5 has a radio signal built in while the iPod Touch doesn't. Going to the bottom here, we can see that the iPod Touch has the lightning connector and the Nexus 5 has the micro USB port. And off to the right, you can see on the iPod Touch there is a speaker and on to the left there is a headphone jack. And as far as the Nexus 5 goes, on the right, um, you can see speaker drills on both the left and the right side, but there's only a speaker actually on the right as the speakers on the left are just for design. Coming on to the left side, um, the iPod Touch 5th generation has two separate uh, buttons for the volume while the Nexus 5 has just one volume rocker. And also the buttons of the iPod Touch are made out of um, anodized aluminum while the Nexus 5 has ceramic buttons. And um, the sides of the Nexus 5 are made out of a glo glossy plastic while the iPod Touch has And now as we make our way onto the top the, of the uh, devices, we can bottom. see that the iPod Touch has its, um, has its power button on the right side on top. And the um, Nexus 5 has its headphone jack on the uh, left side on the top. And finally, we make our way to the right side of the devices while the um, Nexus 5 has its power button on this side and the iPod Touch has nothing here. And the uh, SIM, uh, uh, SIM tray is also right next to the power button as you can see. And going down, there is nothing else. And now we'll make our way to the most distinctive feature which will be the back of the devices. Um, you can get the Nexus 5 in both white and black, um, over here I got the white configuration, and the iPod Touch is available in many colors, uh, including black, pink, red, yellow, um, and blue, and white. So um, this is a black version right here, and I also have a screen protector on this um, iPod Touch on the back. And the Nexus 5 is made out of a polycarbonate um, hard plastic, not polycarbonate, but it's a hard plastic, and but it's uh, soft to the touch. And the iPod Touch is made out of aluminum, anodized aluminum as usual. And coming onto the top, we can see that the um, on the right you can see that the receiver, and on the left uh, we can see the camera, and it's a little bulging out. And as for the Nexus 5, it's also a uh, bulging out. And now we'll be doing a quick uh, boot up test just to compare the boot speeds between these two, um, next, the Nexus 5 and the iPod Touch. Um, I did it at the relatively the same time, so just let's just watch. Now the uh, Nexus 5 just turned on and we're waiting for the iPod Touch. And finally the iPod Touch turns on. So that's it for the hardware comparison of the iPod Touch and the Nexus 5 and as always thanks for watching and if you like this please subscribe.